Hey y'all, this is your Young and the Wrestling Review for October 17, 2016. Let's jump on into it, shall we? So, I still actually gonna get on my fucking nerves, worrying about what her grown-ass brother doing and why he being so nice to Phyllis and why he ain't getting her ass cause she had in his computer. So, I see she gonna be annoying as fuck and trying to be the little yes man, trying to make that man do something about Phyllis. Neither do they know they working together to bring down Victor. And they actually working together, came up with a good plan to lick at the GC Bulls about Vic the wrongdoings. GC Bulls ain't gonna do nothing with that information. You'll be better off going to somebody else. Since Hillary then turned over a new leaf, you ain't be better off turning that to somebody else. Who else cares? Because I don't think Hillary gonna give two fucks about that, even if it's on Vic the or nah. So we got Nick. He from playing the uncle role to a band of nut protector to have spending time with his own fucking son. Um, quick question, do Nick, how the fuck do you sleep at night? Um, do you sleep well? Do you even get in the sleep? Between protecting the nut and your son that you don't know about, spending time with Connor, look like you wear thin, aren't you? I don't want to know how the hell you, well, how many hours of sleep you get doing all that? Hell, sharing a handful about herself, come running in there with all them goddamn, um, all them goddamn containers, knowing damn well she can talk that, and then he coming today on top of that, knocked him all over with the damn containers. Yeah, that was, I guess, Sharon, like you couldn't talk one at a time. You ain't your mysterious ass stalker. Okay, stalk. If you call Patty your stalker, I still say, okay, then we gonna run with Patty your stalker then. So we still got um Kevin being dumb for Chloe. Spending time with his daughter, spending time with her daughter, or I should say Billy daughter. And we got Mariah out in the cold again. No Kevin around her, no Kevin nowhere to be found. Then we got Harrison and Victor, we got Harrison, Victoria, and Bill at this damn meeting, but they can push out more production for their brass and sassy, they bear cologne, or perfume it is. The man sweet talking, loving. I guess he don't know about Bill and Victoria history, so he all, how can you let him go? He seemed like a gentleman. I don't know what you was thinking, but why you let him go? Okay, Harrison, if you on team Bill and you love him so much, why don't you marry him then? And then you'll see why Victoria don't never, ever, ever, ever want him again. Cause Billy is a pain in the ass, that's why she don't want him. And if you wanna know the history, look it up on Google or something. Better yet, why don't you date him? Turn him gay and you marry him then. And you'll see why he he might look sweet and innocent and cute and adorable and can sweep you out your underwear. But I guarantee you, two days with him, you'll be ready to kick his ass to the curb. How much you want to bed? What else happened today? Oh, shit. I am drew a blank. Um, Billy. Oh, Billy came and called himself getting in Jack's face, making it all about him, like right now. Mm. Ashley came up with the deal of pulling out more production for Jabot to stop Brass and Sassy by doing shit, man. So you didn't want to blame it on Jack, and, and you would have shut the fuck up for what, two, three minutes? Ashley would have told you, I did this, not Jack. You didn't want to do something, Billy. You... Billy, really? You have to make everything about you, don't you, buddy? You really are pathetic, aren't you? First of all, Ashley, the one that called and did that. First of all, Ashley made the plan, put the plan in motion to stop production for y'all. Jack had no cause whatsoever in that. He said, yeah, do it. But that don't mean he had an involvement to do with it. And second of all, it ain't always about you. There's a friendly competition. You and they got them business and they got them um, building. And if he did it, if he not, what is it in your fucker been to keep throwing that shit that you slept with that man's wife in his face? You just had to throw that in there. Billy, you childish as fuck. 
So we got Sharon screaming and hollering at the goddamn outside. Nick finna get knocked across the head tomorrow. And I think that's about all that happened that I want to really talk about. Cause it was slow. It wasn't nothing really happening. But those little pieces. Oh yeah, and Jill still trying. I see her hard head ain't stop Papa still trying to try to get Billy and Victoria back together. Give it up, Jill. It ain't gonna happen. Give it up. Lock it up. Forget about it. Leave it alone. Anyway, though, y'all, that's about all I want to talk about. That all I want to see that I want to talk about. So I'll see y'all later. Have a good night and bye.